The lights danced across his visor. One last time. Daniel Ricciardo, the honey badger, wrestled his Alpha Tari through the neon labyrinth of Singapore. Each corner a memory, each straight a prayer. Was this it? The final curtain call of a career that had painted smiles across Formula One? He pushed harder, the roar of the engine a symphony of defiance. The clock ticked down, each second a precious grain in the hourglass of his F1 journey. Then, a flicker on the timing screens, purple sectors. He was on a flyer. Across the line, a time blazed. Fastest lap. A final defiant roar echoed through the Marina Bay night. Was it a parting gift or a cruel twist of fate in a championship on a knife edge? His voice crackled over the radio, a cocktail of exhaustion and emotion. Thank you, he whispered, the words heavy with unspoken meaning. The paddock held its breath. Had they just witnessed the honey badger's last dance? The fastest lap, more than just a statistical footnote, sent shockwaves through the championship battle. Max Verstappen, locked in a fierce duel with Lando Norris, watched the timing screens with a mixture of disbelief and elation. Ricciardo, his former teammate, had just delivered him a gift, a single point snatched from the clutches of Norris. In a season defined by razor-thin margins, that point could be the difference between glory and heartbreak. Norris, gracious in defeat, couldn't hide the sting the fastest lap, a reward for his relentless pace, had slipped through his fingers at the 11th hour. The championship, finely balanced, had just tilted on its axis. The paddock buzzed. Was this Ricciardo's way of settling old scores? A final act of loyalty to his former team? Or simply the ruthless pursuit of personal pride, even in the twilight of his career? Controversy, like a noxious fume, quickly enveloped the Alpha Tori garage. Accusations flew. Had Ricardo's late pit stop, a desperate lunge for fresh tyres, been orchestrated by Red Bull, a calculated gamble to swing the championship in their favour? Zach Brown, McLaren CEO and Norris's staunch defender, didn't mince his words. Manipulation, he fumed, his voice laced with anger. The lines between team orders and sporting integrity had been blurred, the stench of foul play lingering in the air. The FIA, Formula One's governing body, faced a dilemma. Was this a blatant breach of the regulations? Or simply a team playing the strategic game to its limits? The debate raged, threatening to overshadow the brilliance of Ricciardo's final act. The whispers grew louder. Had Formula One, in its pursuit of entertainment, strayed too far from the spirit of fair play? The question hung heavy, casting a long shadow over the Singapore night. The Red Bull camp, a whirlwind of activity, remained defiant. Christian Horner, the team principal, dismissed the accusations with a wave of his hand. It was, he insisted, a gesture of goodwill. A chance for Ricciardo to bow out with his head held high. Daniel deserved that lap, Horner asserted, his voice firm. He's a Red Bull family member, always will be. We wanted him to have a moment to remember. But doubts lingered. Was this genuine sentiment or a carefully crafted smokescreen? The timing was too perfect, the implications too significant to ignore. Formula One, a sport where perception often trumps reality, was left grappling with an uneasy truth. The line between sportsmanship and strategy had become razor thin, leaving a bitter aftertaste in the mouths of many. Section 5. The Honey Badger's Uncertain Future Lost in the maelstrom of controversy was Daniel Ricciardo, his future, 
a topic of constant speculation, remained shrouded in uncertainty. Would this be his final F1 act? His return to Red Bull's junior team, a lifeline thrown to a drowning man, had failed to ignite. The spark, once so evident, seemed to have dimmed. The joy, the exuberance that had become his trademark, replaced by a shadow of what once was. He deserved better. A driver of his calibre, a race winner, reduced to a pawn in a game played by others. The thought left a bitter taste, a sour note in the symphony of his career. The paddock watched, waited, wondered. Would he walk away with his head held high, seeking new challenges? Or would he return next season, a shadow of his former self, forever haunted by the ghosts of Singapore? From Perth to the podium, a career forged in speed. Daniel Ricciardo's journey began on the sun-drenched tracks of Perth, Australia. A scrawny kid with a megawatt smile and an insatiable hunger for speed. His arrival in Formula One in 2011 heralded a new breed of racer. Fearless, flamboyant and unapologetically himself. Eight Grand Prix victories each a testament to his raw speed and racecraft. The Shuey celebration became his trademark, a symbol of unbridled joy. Section 7. Beyond the Visor The Ricciardo Effect Daniel Ricciardo's impact transcended the racetrack. His infectious smile, his genuine warmth, and his ability to laugh at himself endeared him to fans worldwide. He became a global ambassador for Formula One, his popularity soaring, especially in the United States, where his charisma helped fuel the sport's meteoric rise. His appearances on Netflix's Drive to Survive, his personality shining through the carefully constructed narrative turned him into a household name. He was the everyman racer, the guy next door who just happened to be incredibly fast behind the wheel of a Formula One car. He showed the world that Formula One drivers were more than just robots programmed for speed. They were humans with flaws and vulnerabilities, capable of joy, heartbreak and everything in between. He made the sport relatable, accessible and, dare we say, cool. Section 8. Norris, gracious in defeat, the championship still beckons. Lando Norris, his youthful face etched with disappointment, refused to dwell on the lost point. He understood the game, the ruthless pursuit of every advantage. He had, after all, grown up in the cutthroat world of karting, where survival of the fittest was more than just a saying. He congratulated Ricciardo, a flicker of admiration in his eyes. The two drivers, friends off the track, shared a moment of mutual respect, a silent acknowledgement of the battles fought and the sacrifices made. The championship, however, was far from over. Norris, his spirit undimmed, knew that every race, every corner, every metre of asphalt was a chance to claw back the deficit. The fight was far from over. The Singapore night may have belonged to Daniel Ricciardo, but the championship battle raged on. Lando Norris, his eyes fixed firmly on the prize, refused to be denied. Section 9 a legacy etched in smiles and shooey celebrations. Daniel Ricciardo's mark on Formula One will endure long after his final lap. He changed the sport for the better. He brought joy back to a sport often bogged down in technicalities. He reminded us why we fell in love with racing. His legacy is one of smiles, not just on the podium, but in the faces of fans worldwide. He showed us to embrace our quirks and never give up on our dreams. He may not have won the world championship, 
but he won the hearts of millions. His story, much like his infectious grin, will be etched in Formula One folklore forever. The sun sets on an era, but the honey badger never backs down. The Singapore lights dimmed, the echoes of roaring engines fading into the night. Daniel Ricciardo, his future uncertain, stood at a crossroads. Or he could fight, claw his way back to the front, and prove that the honey badger still had some bite left. Whatever path he chose, one thing was certain,